Now let us continue with our lesson over here and in this particular lesson let us try to understand about the rift that you watch, read and then the listener over here. And these are the three methods or the functionality that we regularly use once we are using the uh, Flutter Ripper part over here. And without this, all of these uh, three methods, you cannot go and build your application. So let us try to understand some basic concept regarding it. And if you want to know more and learn more, make sure to go and check out the documentation in the uh, about the Ripper part. So let's learn about the Ref.TWatch, so when we should use it and when we should not use it. Ref dirty watch basically we use to watch the state change or the value change in our provider and once the value is changed in our provider we want to have a reactive change over here or the let's say we want to rebuild this particular widget then we use the ref dirty watch which basically means that any value changes in this particular user uh, object over here this is a list of the user so whenever the uh, value changes like the item is added removed right or cleared so we want to trigger a build event over here right so we want to call the build method again and we want to show the updated value to the user so that's basically a reactive way of handling the state over here so if you want to make use of the reactive way you can use the ref dot the watch and uh, when you should where you should use it you basically you need to use it inside the build method and you should not use it in any of the lifecycle event of your rigor as well and, and and the user ticker event like the button click so you cannot go and use the uh, ref that you watch over there that will go and obviously call some uh, create some kind of debug in your application so make sure you only use the watch in your build method over here and now let's go back to the another one let's go to the add over here and we have the read over here so when we are why we are using a read over here is to just read the value of the provider so you want to get some value from the provider right or you want to trigger some event or you want to add some event to that particular provider then we make use of the read over here so basically it means that uh, we don't want a reactive change over here we don't want to call uh, go and rebuild any of the widget once we call that particular method or functionality right in this case we have to use the ref dot the read over here and um, this should be called from the user trigger event or it's also safe to call from the um, the uh, widget lifecycle like the init uh, right so um, that's the use case of the ref dot the word uh, you can also use in it in the build method but it's not recommended to go and use it over here because it doesn't have any reactive change over here right so why you want to call it in the build method one if that doesn't have any reactive change or you don't want to rebuild the widget and uh, it's safe to call in like the init method and uh, any other lifecycle method or you can always go and make use in the uh, user ticket event to read the value or to call some method or the function in your provider as well and the next one is the listener and this particular listener is the one that we use to listen to the in like it's quite similar to the watch but watch we trigger the widget rebuild so if you want to trigger a widget rebuild then we go and make use of the ref the watch but in the uh, in the case of the ref that listen over here what we are going to do is we want to trigger some side effect like or we want to navigate to the another screen or we want to show uh, a dialog box or we want to show some um, the snack bar right in that case we are going to make use of the listen over here so we are going to listen to the state change and do si some side effect based on that particular state change over here so i hope you got the idea what uh, what are the three different kind of the methods like the watch uh, read and then the listen over here and when you should use it Make sure to go and read the documentation about it and there you will try it, uh, you will understand more about it. So uh, that's all for this lesson and uh, we will meet up in the next one. Till then, have a great day.